Okay, I think I'm recording. Okay, trying to get the best light in this car because it's cloudy and it's rainy, so I'm not getting the best light. So I think this is where I can get the best light. All right, time for part three of this video, of this series. And in part three, I wanted to talk about credit and um, credit meaning your credit score, your credit and credit in terms of how much debt we have and what's your plan to pay down on your credit cards and just your credit period. So um, first thing I want to ask of you is um, make sure to know what your credit score is. Make sure to know what's in your credit report. Um, a lot of financial institutions now give us a free credit score. Um, your mortgage company gives you a free credit score. So it should not be a problem to know what your score is. You are entitled to one free credit report each month. Um, I'll put the website in the, description, in the description box where you can go obtain a free credit report. Or you can pay for your report at any one of the credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian. And um, make sure you know what your score is. If your score is low, why? What's impacting your score? Do you have late payments? Do you have any collection items on there? Do you have any things on there that need to be disputed that shouldn't be on there? Do you, what's the reason for your low score? take steps to start fixing that it may seem like impossible to do but unless you start you're not going to be able to get anywhere and facing that reality and trying to figure out how to fix your credit report is the first step to improving your credit score um, i went through a pretty bad um, situation where it negatively impacted my credit and with time, I was able to fix that. And now I'm back in a good place. So, but it took time. And, but I had to start fixing it. I had to start somewhere. Can't hide from it. So that's my first advice to you, to make sure your credit score is good. And when I say good, 650 and above, um, because your credit score is your power. Without a good credit score, you cannot really dictate uh, what's offered to you. And everything now um, is derived from your credit from your credit score. The interest rate you pay on your credit cards, the interest rate you pay on loans, mortgages, um, the rates you pay on your insurance, your cell phone. Uh, what type of job you can get your credit score impacts all of that so it is very very important to stay on top of your credit score know what your score is know what your power is and use it if you are paying high insurance rates shop around shop around you know don't be loyal to these companies because <laughs> they're loyal to you Every time your policy comes up for renewal, the rates go up. Why? Shop around, shop around so you can get the best rates possible. Now, as far as your credit cards and all of that goes, I am going to just, um, for me, I had a totally different idea of how I was going to approach paying off my debts until i came across the dave ramsey series about um, the baby step uh, method i'm not even going to get into it google it it's all over the internet there are tons of videos on youtube explaining the baby step method and i am going to use that method to pay off my credit cards my student loans my loans and then eventually my mortgage um so in in part one of my 
series, I talk about not adding to my credit card balances using cash to pay for everything. So that's the first step to not increasing the debt. And the second thing that I said that I started doing was paying additional to my principal for my mortgage. Now in the Dave Ramsey um, program, he does not recommend doing that until step six or seven or something like that. But I, I, I want to stay on top of that. I just don't want to have a mortgage after age 65. So I am going to continue to do that. And at the same time, I am going to um, organize all my other debts by the balances I owe starting with the small one and uh, paying them off using that method using that this he calls it the snowball effect and this morning I already paid off two small credit cards they were really small um, I paid off two of them because I was going about this the wrong way I was paying extra to everybody so he recommends pay the minimum due on all of your bills except with the one with the lowest balance you pay that off first and then when you pay that off the money that you were paying to that card you put it towards the next one and then you pay that off and you repeat that process until all your debts are paid including student loans your car loans all of that good stuff so i cannot wait i'm just so excited that it's like you know what when you're ready you're ready when you're ready to get out of a situation only you can get yourself out of a situation when you're ready to pay off your debts you're ready you're gonna do this and in the next video i'm going to talk about all of the excuses and the reasons why we think we can't do any of this why we think we can't save why we think you know we can't pay off our debts i'm going to talk about that in the next video but know your credit score make sure and pull your credit report sometimes there's things on there that's negatively impacting your credit and you have no idea until you need to go in to a dealership to buy a car and they're like uh yeah we can't give you a loan because blah 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 you're like what so make sure to know what's on your credit and two come up with a payoff plan come up with a payoff plan to start paying off your debt i am hoping that i can do this in two years he said a year to 18 months and it's possible I gotta go I can sit down and work out the numbers but yeah <laughs> oh my god can you imagine life without debt can you imagine that so oh I'm excited I don't know about you but I'm excited for this new journey I'm excited to have uh, to live debt free and as long as God continues to give me the strength to work continues to provide and you know as long as I have the ability to go there and make a living I am going to stick with this plan I've already done baby step one so now I'm on baby step two and like I said there's tons of videos on YouTube that explains this method so once I stick with what I said in part one of this series and it's not acquiring a new debt and uh, continue to pay extra towards the principal of my mortgage and now I continue to pay off these other debts man we're in a good place we're in a good place i want us to do this together i want us to do this together so we could achieve financial freedom together 
So we all have, we're all in different situations in our lives. We all have different debts. We all have different um, incomes, you know, we're, we're different, you know. However, you need to start today. You need to start today. Start somewhere with something. Put something in place and start. Even if it's to budget, that is like the the heart of everything. You have to budget. You have to create a system where you know exactly where your money is going each month. And that's how you know if you can allocate your resources elsewhere. And maybe you paying too much into cable. Maybe you spending too much on food. Maybe you spending too much on hanging out. Maybe you spending too much on your cell phone bill. I mean, these are the things that you need to sit down and analyze. If you want to achieve financial freedom, these are the things you need to do. Everybody is not at this point in their life. Not everybody's going to get this message. But hopefully, for those of you who get it, we can do this together. And we could achieve financial freedom together. So, in the next video, I am going to address some of the reasons why you think you can't. Uh, some of the reasons why you won't unless we change our habits so i will see you guys in the next video bye